Hi Chelsea fans, Chelsea Daft here back with a 5 minute news video and today is focused on transfer rumours. There's plenty to discuss, 5 stories in total in 5 minutes. Let's get cracking. First up, a development with Fakao Tomori, and it looks as though he was willing to leave the club on loan or on a permanent deal this month before the window shuts. That's now been scuppered by a reported injury to Andreas Christensen. As we know, he was injured against Aston Villa and was substituted. It looks as though his injury is actually quite a bad one. We're waiting for confirmation. But because of his injury, it looks as though Fakao Tomori will now be denied the opportunity to leave and remain as one of the four fit centre-backs at the club. What do you think about that? Bearing in mind he's only played once this season to blow for Tomori. So now to Declan Rice, the second story in the video. And reports are there again in this window that Chelsea are looking at Declan Rice. Frank Lampard's identified him as to the Chelsea board as a target this month, knowing that he's got to sell some players first before he can raise the funds to try and lure West Ham into selling Declan Rice. However, and we have said this before on the channel, it looks as though the Chelsea hierarchy are still not convinced about Declan Rice for two reasons. First and foremost, the fact that they're not quite sure that he's corrected the perceived weaknesses in his game, which led to his release from the club back in the day. Second of all, the scale of the whole finance involved to try and get a deal done, where well, you're looking at paying out another 80 to 90 million. We have to wait and see, but Declan Rice linked to Chelsea is not going away. Will Frank Lampard get his way because we all know he wants him? We have to wait and see. So to two players who have had a bit of a Chelsea nightmare, and we have to be honest and say that and admit that's been the situation. First up, Danny Drinkwater, and he's been offered a lifeline by Kazim Pasa over in Turkey. They currently sit 14th in the Super League over in Turkey, but they've given him the opportunity to go on loan for the season. As we said in a video on the channel a, a day or so ago, Chelsea are willing to take a massive hit on Drinkwater and sell him for around three and a half million pounds. And they're also willing to pay a part of his wages for someone to take him out on loan. Kazim Pasa look as though they've taken the opportunity and expect Danny Drinkwater to sign for them and go and play in Turkey for six months. So to the person who was signed back in 2012 and described as the next Kaká, the Brazilian sensational midfielder, and that was Lucas Piazon, who's been at Chelsea for, his, for nine seasons now. He's been on loan seven times and he's only made three appearances. It looks as though Chelsea are now willing to cut their losses on Piazon, which is a shame really that it's never worked out for him. They terminated the loan that he was currently on over at Rio Avenue and they brought him back to the club and it's understood he's in negotiations with three unnamed clubs to get a deal done this month with Chelsea willing to take a hit on the 6.75 million they paid for him eight seasons ago. Finally, I think we've all been hoaxed. We've all been duped by a football agent and that football agent is employed by Gianluigi Donnarumma, the AC Milan goalkeeper, the highly rated, much sought after 21 year old goalkeeper and it looks as though he's now made a decision and he's probably going to stay at AC Milan and sign a brand new two-year contract for more money, for more pennies in his agent's pocket. And you just wonder if there ever was any indication to leave AC Milan or just try and get a better deal. That's it from me, guys. Chelsea news update in just five minutes. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Take a look around the channel, including my video on Kai Havertz yesterday, which is doing well and is popular. Make sure you let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video in the comments section below. Drop a like on the video for me and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. I still think with the second half of the season to go that Kai Havertz and Timo Werner can have a big, big say on Chelsea's season, on how successful we're going to be. I'm not being funny, but you look around Europe, you look around the Premier League and you look at a team sheet where you know the attacking four is Pulisic, Ziyech, Havertz, Werner. You've got a job on. So I think that's the way that Kai Havertz can be the influence that he's been brought to be over a period of time. We don't expect it straight away, but over a period of time, he'll learn and develop and become the player that we all know he is more than capable of being 
and that's how I think you get the best out of him.